Let's now shift our focus to an interesting study recently conducted by scientists at Antarctica's rivers of ice. What if I tell you that beneath those ice sheets flows the salty ocean water? It may surprise you, but that is what the recent discovery states. Instead of finding water from melting glaciers, scientists from Colorado School of Mines and Scripps Institution of Oceanography made a new discovery that could change our understanding of how the ice flows, along with important implications for estimating future sea level rise as well. Now, the findings of this 61-day-long research conducted at one of Antarctica's ice streams suggest that salty groundwater there is the largest reservoir of liquid water below the ice stream. And in all likelihood, it affects how the ice flows in Antarctica. The scientists collected data about the land under half a mile of ice beneath their feet to understand the behavior of ice sheets in a warming world. Their study also concludes that West Antarctic was an ocean before it transformed into an ice sheet. If it disappears today, it would again turn into an ocean with a bunch of islands. As the bedrock below the ice sheet is covered with a thick layer of sediments the particles that accumulate into ocean flows. Now, scientists, they did not expect to find this thick layer of sediment and a huge amount of groundwater, including salt water from the from ocean under the ice stream. This liquid water now determines the pace at which an ice stream moves. If there's liquid water at the base of an ice stream, it flows fast. If that water freezes or the base dries out, then the ice screeches to a stop here. The salty water keeps it from freezing at low temperatures as well. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.